Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on February 13th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather updates, well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our sun as we saw one more M-class flare and multiple C-class solar flares from the nine, possibly 11 sunspot regions that are earth facing right now having a look at incoming cresting imagery we do have a big sunspot region coming in northwest region of our sun which is on the right hand side large plasma filaments associated with that looking at outgoing here as this is where we had our m-class solar flare and as well an outgoing CME yesterday. Amazing images. Right hand side, big plasma filament. Having a look at multi-spectrum here. You can see the most recent flare events. And then right there, that was our M-class solar flare. Looking at 171 angstroms. No coronal holes to talk about or show you here. Just some large plasma filaments, those darkened lines in the southern hemisphere, and as well arched around the sunspot region equatorial. We're keeping an eye on those plasma filaments. Let's hope they stay intact. Solar X-ray flux remains in a heightened C range after seeing an M-class solar flare today. Multiple C-class solar flares. Solar proton flux is low. And geomagnetic activity is sitting at 1.5. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at 397 kilometers per second right now after dipping down to 338. And that is just ahead of our space weather event, which we were expecting Valentine's Day. So it's most likely going to move in tonight and tomorrow. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral, showing a large CME taking off towards Venus and as well all of the activity heading our way in the next 24 to 36 hours. Lasco 3 showing the last three days of events on our sun. Yesterday into today, no major CMEs, one little poof there in the last image, but still some amazing imagery here by SOHO satellites. And as well, all the data collected here with Solar Dynamics Observatory and NASA. Having a look at the probability of aurora forecast, slight chance tonight through Western Canada, and as well, slight chance parts of Northern Europe. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 10 with a few hours of blackout there. Looking at the telemetry, you can see nothing. So we had a blackout for about 10 hours. Quality of 8.8, .8, amplitude of 5, power of 10. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're still sitting below average, but we did see a large earthquake after the warning last night. 6.1 earthquake rocked the Kermadec Islands, New Zealand. 374 kilometer depth though. We were expecting a large earthquake, but not that deep. Overlooking Indonesia, 4.8 there, 4.7. And as well a 4.8 a pillar, Philippines. Japan seeing some activity today. Northern Island, Kishiro, Kishiro 4.8, and as well a 5.2 Kuril Islands, 98 kilometer depth. 5.1 magnitude here, reported in northern Qinghai, China, as well a 4.0 Farkar, Afghanistan. Turkey still seeing aftershocks. 4.8 was the largest today, and they've seen six of them in the past 24 hours. Notable earthquake here. Uh, in Romania, a 5.0 earthquake, 10 kilometer depth, 4.7 here, south of Africa, 10 kilometer depth. South America, very quiet today, a little bit concerning, 4.2, Diego de Alamagro, Chile, and then the Caribbean plate, 4.6 there yesterday, and then look at the Dominican Republic today. Largest through the region being a 3.8, 
Punta Cana, but lots of activity all around the Dominican Republic. 4.5 here, East Central Pacific Ocean, as well minor activity being reported, Kapau, Hawaii. Overlooking the United States, minor activity through Texas and White City, as well a notable earthquake here, 3.7, 10 sleep, Wyoming. Having a look at the last seven days for earthquakes, we've seen 87 shakers around Yellowstone in the past seven days. Other than that, no other swarms to talk about. As I said, below average and a little bit quiet, which is a little bit concerning, expecting something a little bit bigger than that 6.1 that we saw today, Kermadec Islands. Having a look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Quieted down through central West Pacific. All of the activity here, Turkey. Again, thoughts and prayers going out to over 35,000 souls lost and many who have been displaced. Thoughts and prayers to everyone affected there. Watching the North American plate up into the Cascades still and Central America down towards Argentina for the next 24 hours. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world as well noting the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. We've got ERA in Japan, Fuego in Guatemala, Popopetitol in Mexico. Sabincaya in Peru. Cotopaxi in Ecuador. So not many volcanoes getting updated today. Swiss and Ajima, Japan. These are all in the last four hours. A Reventador in Ecuador. So that's about seven volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 46 that are active and erupting around the world. Carry on here with satellite imagery. Strong system heading up into Spain the next 24 hours through the East Atlantic and as well bringing lots of moisture towards northwestern Africa. Things are about to change big time, folks. Equatorial regions are changing. Got a low pressure system off the coast of California. Going to bring a bit of moisture for the next couple days. Southern California anyway. And then watch for that low to move into Texas. Brings an extreme weather outlook. And as well, look at these huge systems over the Pacific Ocean. Almost identical. One of them was Cyclone Gabriel. We do still have Tropical Cyclone Freddy. And Dingani. Looks like Freddy is going to be the strong one. Dingani heading south, but Freddy heading straight west. Stay tuned for the quick forecast of that cyclone. Some cloud cover moving into parts of Eastern Europe. Big high pressure ridge blocked in right now as things dry out through central and northern parts. Now let's have a look at world weather forecast brought to you by VentuSky. You've got a low pressure system off the coast of the Maritimes right now that is set to enter the Maritime provinces tonight. You've got a low pressure center through the prairies and as well another on the west coast moving in. Low pressure center here moving in Tuesday, Wednesday. Big warm push of air ahead of that. Going to break some records here the next couple days. But then cold temperatures will be following this large low. Colorado low developing here. Looking along the west coast. Mostly northward is where all the moisture will be. Carrying on the forecast here Thursday into Friday next week. Watch for a low pressure to quickly scoot out to the Maritime Provinces. Long convergence line of moisture through the Atlantic. And then a low pressure center off the coast of California, long range forecast. Overlooking South America, 
Daily evaporation rains could be heavy at times through parts of northern Argentina and as well parts of Peru. Other than that, no major systems affecting you. Overlooking South Africa, Madagascar, and the Indian Ocean. Tracking Tropical Cyclone Freddy as it heads straight west. Joins forces with another low pressure system there by Sunday, Monday, next weekend. And then the track could head south towards Mauritius and Reunion. Stay tuned daily because these forecasts do change. But that's going to be a very strong cyclone. Overlooking Europe. Snowstorms through Moscow, heading eastward, and then high pressure ridge building through Europe and central parts. Watch along the convergence line for some extreme weather. Overlooking West Pacific and Southeast Asia. No major concerns. Philippines looked like they were going to get a cyclone yesterday. Things have changed today. Having a look over Australia and New Zealand, they just finished dealing with Cyclone Gabriel. And then looking over the Northern Territory of Australia, we do have 91P, which is an area of interest right now, not a named cyclone, but it looks like it's going to hang around the Northern Territory for about five days once it starts making landfall. Quick look over the Pacific Ocean, showing all of the systems that will be heading towards the west coast of America. Long-range forecast could see some rain heading towards California. We're also going to give you a quick look here at temperatures, as the polar vortex will be whipping around here towards the 20th of February. Overlooking North American temperatures, minus 30 degrees Celsius, minus 35 through parts of Manitoba and Northern Ontario. But you could see minus 15, minus double digits for sure, parts of Northern Midwest or Central Plains and as well through Ontario. But the next couple days are going to be very warm through Ontario. Having a look at the polar vortex right now, hanging way down over Europe, even as far down as Africa. Quick look around the world at the winds and the directions of the winds. Equatorial region. Now let's go back one year to 2022. This is what our polar vortex looked like and as well, all of the trade winds. Big difference between last year and this year, just saying, some big changes to come on our planet. And they're happening now. They've been happening for a long time and will continue to do so. So stay aware and prepared, everybody. Much love. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.